All right, guys, I'm kind of really ticked off right now at my staff. Like, I don't ever get ticked off at them, but I'm going to let them tell you why I might be ticked off at them. So we're going to go outside and ask them why I might be ticked off at them. Video. Okay? Now tell them why I might, might be ticked off at y'all. What did you just tell me? Me? No, 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 no. I'm asking you a question. What did you just tell me? Jacob's mom was the first was the person to confirm the first coronavirus in Rockwell. Took the swab of Took it, Took the correct? swab from the doctor. Okay, who do y'all currently house with? Jacob's mom. Okay, what does that mean that you've been around? Corona. Someone who works where? In the medical field. Doing what right now? Testing corona. Okay, do you think that might have been vital information to let me know? Yes. Okay, all three of y'all, not one person told me before y'all were coming to my house. Actually, I believe you. you. You're off the hook. That is crazy. You know what? Y'all are not allowed back in my house. I love y'all, but that was really, really... Y'all y'all should disclose that to everybody. In fact, I'm making you t-shirts. My mom swabs for Corona. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what a thousand and ten dollars looks like. Uh, is that Tiffany? That's, that's Tiffany yeah, color. Yeah, that's Tiffany blue. That's Tiffany color, Okay, yeah. jewelers. What? I said, this is one of the reasons why I bid on it. I saw purses right here. I couldn't tell if they were going to be good or not. I am stuffed. High five. <gasps> Coach! High five. High five. High five. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. I don't know if this is real, y'all. I don't know if this is real. I'm gonna tell you right now, it feels real. It feels real. What? Yo, tubs full of name brand stuff. Look, the wallet is, the matching wallets are in every one, babe. Yep. Every one. Do you know what that is? Chloe. It comes no. in a bag. It's it does, be good. it has to be good. Let's see, let's look at it. What? Holy crap. What is that, coach? In the bag, look, old school coach. Oh, that is old school coach. Old school coach. Vintage coach. Vintage coach. Hey, y'all let me know right now. Do y'all think we made our money? In it, go ahead, in the chat right now, we're chatting in. Type a one right now if you think we already made our thousand and ten bucks off this one tub. Let me know. All right, look, more Chloe. Is that what it is, Chloe? It's probably Chloe. It's Chloe. Uh, look, big old, big old bag. Is that it? <laughs> but that wasn't enough. I know. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm super pumped. All right, right now. So let me know, total, if you thought, what do you think we have in purses in this tub right now? Guys, I didn't hear you come in. I was just sitting here displaying some of the new Ninja Turtles and Trolls that I found, and I had that tub of per I can't do this. That is so Seriously, I can't do this. Have y'all ever watched the YouTube channels or like the TV shows like where the cameraman, like there's a secret cameraman in the house, right? And then they pop out and then people were like, oh, I just noticed you there. I was gonna try that, but let's be for real. If that were to happen in my household here in Texas, former Marine, still a Marine, right? Once a Marine, always a Marine. That's not how it would go down. This is how it would go down. Let's be honest, guys. Like, half of you guys, you guys are hunting and fishing, guys, right? Came over for Lunker TV. I know you do the exact same thing. It drives me crazy every time I watch shows or YouTube channels like that. I'm like, why would you even let a cameraman, like, creep up on you like that? So, anyway, 
the cameraman would be dead. But he should be creeping around the house anyway. So hey, let's get to the point, y'all. So y'all saw the old clips of the videos of some of the great purses and finds we found. Y'all, that's not even like close to being all of it. But I wanted to give you a two or three minute clip to let you know this is something very common we find. What's uncommon is this much name brand stuff in this tub that we just found, what, last week? Last week. Last week. Yeah. So guys, give us a minute. What we're going to do is, is look, remember we found all these that we, I was not even familiar with these, but they say Paris. Remember we found this, the, the Louis. Louis Vuitton. We're hoping that's real. I know. Uh, and then look down in here. We got Michael Kors, uh, all kinds of stuff, guys. We really don't even know what's in here because we didn't go through the whole thing. So give us a few minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to divide these out. And what we're going to do for the rest of this video is let's see. Remember I paid $1,002 for the unit. We think we might make that here on this, just out of this tub. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna separate these out and then we're gonna look them up on eBay with you guys and we're gonna run in total through this video and see how much we made off this one tub. Go with the Michael Coors. Is that how you said that? Coors. All right, so look, this is our home office. So just yeah. here it is. So look, <laughs> we're gonna start with Michael Coors. We have these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have six. Scout's here to help. You here to help? Don't pee on the purses. And I have eBay pulled up right here and I already have it on sold listings. I have the first purse that we're gonna look up right here, but right, so we always, guys, when you're trying to determine market value, it's based off a sold listing, not what some ding dong's asking for it, it's what that ding dong can actually get for it. So we got the purses, we got the eBay. So let's start a running total, but before that, I have a message for you. Hey, Justin Grimes, this is Jeff and Lauren from the Tiger King on Netflix. We wanted to reach out and congratulate you on hitting 60,000 people on your YouTube awesome. channel. That's incredible. <laughs> and after you guys finish binge watching The Tiger King, check out Justin's page. Thanks, guys. Bye. Tune into season two and we'll let you know what happened with Don Lewis. Ooh. Take care. <laughs> Guys, before we start the run in total of the purses to see how much we made, I just want to give a quick shout out. I, ha I don't really do this a lot, but here, this is a special shout out. Look, so this whole YouTube thing started like, I've made a lot of great friends and a lot of great people. And so I don't ever recommend a page unless I really feel comfortable with who they are. So this, this page right here is coming up on 1,000. They are at, actually, hold on. Look, got it up on the TV. So they are at 853 subscribers, guys. We've been averaging about 1,000 people in our live chats. Click on that, babe. Let's show, let's just show them Nate's page. Uh, what I have in common with uh, Nate is, yeah, just button. There it is. So look, he does a lot of live stuff, guys, for resellers. Uh, this guy is a really good, good dude. So what I'm asking is that right now, before this video is over, I'm going to give you a 30 minute video. We're going to start going longer with the videos, but guys, help us out. Let's get him to a thousand before this is over. Hopefully he's in the chat. Nate, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, look, I like you as a person before I like your channel, but I have even me, the auction guy. I've learned a lot of stuff about eBay and other uh, different things. I learned about pot Smart. All these other things that actually I need to use now since my auction house burned down. So guys, before he's at 853. Let's go for 1,000. Let's get this guy there. He's got a family. He's got a wife and kids, guys, too. And uh, this whole thing has affected him, too. So hey, let's dedicate this moment right now to helping young man up to 1,000 before this video ends. We'll check back at the end. Somebody keep us updated mods to keep going back. Keep that channel popping in. Now let's see how much we made on the purses. And I have eBay pulled up right here, and I already have it on sold listings. I have the first purse that we're going to look up right here. But right, so we always, guys, when you're trying to determine market value, it's based off a sold listing, not what some ding dong's asking for it. It's what that ding dong can actually get for it. So we got the purses, we got the eBay. So let's start a running total. But before that, I have a message for you. All right, guys, so the first one we're going to go with is this one right here. And I couldn't find the exact color, but this is the same. It looks like it's called the Python Tote. So it, the, the, the whole look of it is looks exactly the same except some different handles. But this one actually sold for $6.25. It said it had a retail of, of $29.95. I don't know how true that is. Uh, but anyway, so $6.25. But on this one, I'm going to be honest, I will let that go for probably $100, $150. Bucks right here is this is actually very very nice but the the most similar one i could find see it's got the same 
exact look. It's just a different color. This one's a little bit darker. This is the dark leather, but this actually sold for $3.59. So we've got a hundred, we'll say 150 for the first one, and we'll go 150 very conservatively. <laughs> Conservative? Conservatively. Heck yeah. So what is that? That is $300. We have the matching wallets for like all of these. So we'll just add in, let's say we'll add in 30, 30 bucks for the wallet. Uh, sounds good. Yeah, so we'll go 30 more dollars. So what, we're at $330. All right guys, so I'm not even gonna bother looking this up. That's actually really leather right there. Really, really, real, <laughs> real leather, y'all. Real leather. So anyway, I'm just gonna put, let's add $20 to the total for this. All right, guys, so the next one is, look, this is very, very, like, this is very nice leather, and it, it's made to look like kind of like an alligator skin right there. Uh, but the closest one I could find is, like, these leather ones. You can see it's got the same chains, basically about the same size. But they sold this one for three twenty eight. dollars With this one, I think I'm going to add maybe, let's just add $100 to the table have this little beauty this thing looks brand spanking new so gina found one the similar one she could find right here sold for 38 bucks so you know i, I think this one might be a little bit better but i don't know so, but we're gonna add 20 bucks to the total and last but not least we have is what's called the red dillion crocodile effect tote michael kors so this site right here i couldn't find one on ebay but it searched all the other sites and it came up for about i guess an average price of 408 dollars this one actually looks brand new it has the matching wallet inside and it comes with the dust bag i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give that one another 150 dollars to the total Guys, and remember, we're being very conservative. The last thing I want is somebody to go out and buy a unit and like start like me giving all these inflated prices and it just not come to be true. So the prices I give you, I feel are like very quick, hey, we buy it cheap, we sell it cheap kind of prices. So anyway, let's continue on. Let's go to Coach next. All right, guys, so Gina forgot one. I guess I'm going to blame it on her, but she forgot one. Uh, this is a Michael Kors also. It's studded. I could not find that exact one on eBay, so I kind of went to Google uh, search to see if I could track down a more uh, direct name for it. But So all I'm finding, the studded stuff is actually pretty expensive. There's a backpack that's $350. Uh, there's a smaller one right here that's 201 This one is actually really, like, you can feel that it. it's really nice leather. It's got the tag. Look, inside is, like, immaculate. Like, it is really good. I need to clean my camera lens off. So, check it out. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this one, I'm going to go 100 bucks on this one. So up next we have the coach look this does come with a dust ruffle like overall it's in pretty good shape but look you can see some markings but i bet that could all be cleaned off so we'll try to clean this up and get some of the scuffs off of it but i mean overall the bag i mean it's nice quality you can definitely tell it's not a fake but because of the condition on this one and just kind of what i've researched on kind of used bags i'm only gonna go 25 bucks on that Oh, that's the dust uh, cover. I must call it a dust ruffle. Isn't that you, for a bed? You already did call it oh. a dust ruffle. <laughs> that's for a bed, not a dust ruffle. You do not get a dust ruffle with these. So we got this wallet over here. Um, oh, is this the one that was in this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go with these two just without looking them up. I'm going to say that I would probably ask, say, 50 bucks for this. So let's add 50 right here for this. And then over here, we have a black one. It's leather. I mean, it almost looks brand spanking new. Uh, I don't have any, you know, suspicions that this is fake. Stitching looks pretty nice. So I'm just going to go uh, 30 bucks on that. Guys, I don't know. Like, we're over halfway through the tub. We are at that many dollars, however many that is. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I'm editing. But we have two grand finales left. Or actually, how many purses do we have left? We have one, two, two three, six, purses. six purses left. So right now, remember, I spent a thousand and ten dollars on this unit, but there was so much wonderful stuff in it. But we're trying to see if the tub will pay for the entire unit. So up next, we have what is that? BCB. BCBG. So look, nothing, t nothing real special. We did look these up. This one has a brand new tag of fifty-eight bucks. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to say, hey, I'm going to ask fifteen dollars a piece for these, uh, or thirty for two. You're like, there's no discount there. Well, you're not. You already get them cheap enough. So 30 bucks for $116 worth of purses. 
purses in the unit. A lot of y'all wrote in and y'all were sending us, hey, Justin, you got like $2,500 worth of purses. And luckily, I've been in this game long enough to I don't believe it until I see it. So check it out. We did find Chloe, right? But one letter changes the whole world, y'all. When there's a missing H, these go from about, you know, on average, $1,500 to $2,000 a piece to just that small letter H changed it to about uh, $20 a piece. So we're gonna add $40 to the total. Goyard, Goyard? Goyard from Paris, ah, cause if it's from Paris or North Korea, it's quality. So Gina's over there looking that up and right now I'm gonna show you the beautiful profit, uh, the beautiful profit, the beautiful purse, uh, because everybody knows I make a better Vanna than Gina right? Aww. I'm joking. Uh, so anyway, check it out. Uh, okay. So Goyard right here, there's a tag on this, uh, written in Chinese. So that probably means it's legit. All right. There's that. Uh, but this is, uh, it feels okay. It feels nice. Uh, look, there's that. So y'all are going to tell me, look, so I'm doing the prices, assuming that these are authentic, but I, next step after I price them, actually you should authenticate them first, right? So you know how to price them but we're doing this backwards. Why? Because I have mental problems and I do everything backwards. So anyway, why are you laughing? Because it's true. Oh my gosh. Did y'all hear that? Oh, MG. Um, so, hey, claim it, right? Uh, so there's the box with the wallet. And look, here is the nice bag. You know, I don't know. I just don't feel like this feels so thin, doesn't it? Doesn't that feel thin to you? I just found the exact one. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, what are we going to do? Show us, show us. Why are you hiding it? I'm not Why are you hiding, hiding it? it? I'm not hiding it. Come on, man. Okay, where are we at? Best effort. Whoa, effort that's not it. That is it. That's Click in it. Oh one. my gosh, y'all. And we have the wallet. Get out of town. What? Yeah, it's the original we're seeing. <laughs> oh, I just burped. Sorry, guys. Omg, it sure is. Oh, and it, it does. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's that thin. Sold for seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. There's no way. Let's go back one more minute. All right, look, I, like I said, I don't believe it until I see it or I have the money. But look at these guys. These are the, you can tell it's that same. It kind of looks mm -hmm. flimsy-ish, doesn't it? So that's what made me think it was fake. But sure enough, ooh, look down here, guys. We actually have, so when you have the, the hash thing through it, that means they accepted probably something a little something bit lower, lower than that. But look at these, sold for 1800 Oh, and it had the wallet. Look, it had the wallet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ours has the Oh, wallet. so we have the wallet. So to be Apple's Apple comparison, so we have that too, right? Well, we have the... Yeah, no, we have both. The inside wall? We have both. We have that one that's connected, and, and we have this one. this one. So we have both, and we have the dust cover. So look, even this one went for 50... Guys, look at what these are selling for. I really did not know this. I promise you I did not know this. I just I waited till the end because I thought it had a chance. Look, right there, wallet. Oh, wait, is that the hangy deal? Look, there's the hangy... Just the purse and the hangy deal for 1465. You got to be kidding me, y'all. I'm about to throw this up on eBay see if I can make 1500 bones real quick. And I don't even like selling on eBay. What? All right, so hey, we're going to add What do you think? I think we have the I wallet think... in the box. We have it brand new for the whole everything. Thing? I'm thinking 1500. 1500. 1500. We're going to add 1500 to the total. At this point now that we have the exact same thing, and I was actually about to start knocking this because it's so thin. Right, so look at this. This is thin, and this is thin, just like this Goyard bag that we did, right? It was thin, and I automatically was about to assume that it was fake, but I don't know. Let's look, let's just show them inside of this. Here, pop oh, the that inside's open. Really cool. Okay, look so that. look, this is the inside. Let's show them, right? This is says Louis. It says it's a Louis Vuitton. Uh, it does. It says made in Paris, France. Look at that leather. I mean, it doesn't look like that cheap crap. You know a way to test it too. Hold on. Try to zip that. Does, is it smooth? Try to zip it back. Mm -hmm. Does it go smooth? Yeah, it does. All right. Hey, try. Is there a zipper on this? So that's another way you can test, guys. Quality of stuff. Like if you have to go, uh, go try to do that one swift move. I want to make sure here. I'll hold this side for you. Okay. Because I know it's kind of awkward. Uh, now you need to hold the other side. See, look at that. See how it smoothly went there? There wasn't no yanking on it or anything like that. So that's one of the ways that I usually can tell. Like, you'll you'll see me find something in a unit and automatically, like, silver. Like, silver and gold, like, I can spot it just because of, you know, just different things. Uh, and purses, when I look at them, I usually, right when I grab them, I'm feeling to see if it feels like real leather. And the only thing, I said in the video this felt real, but my only concern with it is why I didn't buy into it is because how thin it was. 
So anyway, I'm not saying it's real, but all I'm saying is that uh, this is very similar to this brand that obviously it sells for a lot of money. The little dust ruffle. Dust ruffle. No, D dust, no. Cover. dust cover. Okay, so Gina's gonna look that up and uh, yeah, I just, you know, I don't know that, I guess they make them this thin, like a chain purse or something, I don't know. So anyway, let's figure out how much we're gonna add to the total with this. What do you guys think right now? Not in the chit chat. Oh yeah, do it in the chit chat, but also leave it in the comments so I can go back, rewatch this and see what everybody thought. So right now in the chit chat and in the comments below, let us know what do you think this is going to be worth? And if you want to play, go ahead and put your total amount because this is the, is this the last purse? Oh no, we have a couple more, don't we? No, this is the last one. Oh, what about that one down there? What is that? It is a nothing. Oh, it's a nothing. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go, I don't know, a nothing. a nothing. Okay, well, here, you keep looking that up, and we're going to look this over and make sure it's really a nothing. All right, let's see. I don't, did you check all inside and everything? Yeah. You found it? Mm -hmm. What is it? Are we going to be excited? Yeah, it was sold for $12.50. Well, show us. We, did, we ain't trying to look at your kneecap. <laughs> oh, does it look thin like the other one, though? Does yeah, the in, oh wait, the but that inside's not red though. I know. Okay, so but it I is typed it okay, but it is similar style, right? It's got these. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does have those. Look, there's a little mm -hmm. chain thing little down things. there, and this did sell for twelve hundred and fifty dollars. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe this red, uh, this red one might be some kind of maybe limited edition one or something, because I don't really see the red in a lot. So hey, we're gonna double check that, but let's go ahead and let's just say conservatively, conservatively. Oh, and we have the wallet. Did they have oh. a wallet? What? You got it? You found it, didn't you? How yeah, much? Like a, sure is. Click on it. $1,000. 1000 bucks, and that's used, isn't it? Hold on, guys. Click on it one more time. Let's go look at it. Ah, oh, does it look like it? That does look like it. Mm, it's not the same. Uh, it has the it's, inside, different it's a different color. Oh, it's color. a different pattern. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, anyway, so I don't know. We'll just... We're going to go... I'd say 12. With the wallet, though. With I say this? with the wallet. I say we just go conservatively $1,000. $1,000. Let's add $1,000 to the total. Bag. The nothing bag. The nothing bag. The poor nothing bag. We're going to give this look. It's still real leather. I can tell that. It's nice. It's new. It hasn't been used. So I'm just going to go, let's add 10 bucks to the total. All right, guys, so down in the comments below, not in the chit chat, but down in the comments so I can go check it later. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let's go for thumbs up. Let's go one. And if you think, hey, Justin, you really didn't get that great of a deal on the unit, let's go thumbs two for the old <laughs> thumbs down. Thumbs two. That was weird. All right, guys, and check it out. If you like mean people, and by mean people, I just mean people who have, like, diarrhea of the mouth. Like, they have no filter on what comes out, even when they are freaking completely ignorant to a situation. Tomorrow's episode is going to be full of the never-before-seen held-for-review comments. What that means is cuss words, mean things said about me. I'm pretty sure I'll be called a crackhead at least a half a dozen times. So anyway, the worst of the worst coming tomorrow. Make sure to join me and the team live to read them first with you, and we'll get the reaction. Let's see what they have to say. Other than that, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, select all why, because we do do premieres, because we love you guys. We love hanging out with you, right? Don't we love them? Hey. Yes. Yeah, there she is. You saw how excited she was. Hey, guys, other than that, we'll see you at the next one.